I'm joined by two very lovely men from One Republic. How are you? Good. How are so you? Zach, you're very welcome to Ireland. Thank you very much. And Drew, you're very welcome as well. Oh, very happy to be here. Even though you do look like Dennis Menace, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazed. Amazed you let me in. That's right. And he is a menace too. You guys absolutely catapulted to just amazing like success. It was really strange. One of our fans made a, a video and put it on YouTube and it became the most popular video on YouTube. But it wasn't all smooth sailing, of course, before that, because only weeks before you were to release it, you kind of got dropped by your label. No, I actually got dropped uh, twice, and uh, Ryan also was dropped before we started the band, so three times total. You're driving around LA and, and you're looking at what looks to be like everyone else succeeding except for you. You yeah. know what I mean? That's sort of the feeling that yeah. you get. But it affected us uh, emotionally, deeply. Yeah. We're still working on all, you know, cleaning out all the emotional kinks <laughs> and, and the wounds. And of course, amazingly, Timberland picked us up. How did that happen? We had kind of been on each other's radar for a long time. And when, when it came time to sign with another record label, we figured we should do the least expected thing and sign with Timbaland. How satisfied were you guys leaving your day jobs? Oh man, that was the best day of my life. That was the best day of my life. Peace out. See you later. What did you do actually before? I was, uh, I had waited tables for a long time, but um, after after my wife and I got married, she's, she's, she was a waitress and then she switched to a day job. So then I never saw her. She worked during the day and then I worked all night. So it was, um, at that point, I decided to work with her. So I worked at Coca-Cola bottling company, I answered phones, and I filed papers. That's quite romantic, though, that you got the same job as your wife. Yeah, and we would have, like, little breaks, lunch break. You know, when you've had a really successful single, is it hard to kind of go, right, how are we going to top this? How are we going to do it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the moment you start thinking about it, yeah. that you're, you're lost. You have to just... Yeah, we, I mean, we, we've put out songs that we thought were, gonna, were going to be the biggest thing, like, the the thing that reinvented music or something and they've and they've done absolutely nothing and then we've put out songs that we thought we're going to do absolutely nothing and they've kept us on the road for an extra like year and a half this the songs that we would ideally want to put out as singles would be songs that don't really sound like anything that we've done before well, listen thank you so much for talking to me and i hope when you're back in ireland i'll get to chat to you again yeah of course thank you thank you thank so you. much yeah. Cheers, guys.